Many companies that use Job Boss Squared have large bills of materials. And even if your bill of materials wouldn't be considered necessarily large, you can still save time by importing that bill of materials instead of typing in all of the materials needed for a given project. Importing a bill of materials with Job Boss Squared is very simple. Typically, whatever software you're using for your CAD, you can take and export the bill of materials out. Once that bill of materials is exported, then we can bring it into Job Boss Squared. This is an example of an exported bill of materials from a SolidWorks file. You can see here that it has things like the item, the part, the description, so on and so forth. We do give you a great help file to tell you which fields we can bring in and help you with how that can be easily managed. That help file can be accessed right directly from Job Boss Squared's help, and it goes through all of the different respective steps, as well as what the field names are that can be imported. Once you have your import ready to go, then taking that file and importing it is just simply coming in, go to the import capability within the system, and upload that bill of materials. You can see here that I can just simply take, grab that bill of materials, and it reads that CSV file right into the system the same way that we just saw it. If it is a multi-level bill of material, you can see that when you export from your CAD software, you can bring it in with the bill of material levels defined as item numbers. You can see that item numbers that have a dot next to them are typically then a step below or an indented bill of materials that can be brought in. You can also bring in, of course, single level bills of materials. Once you're bringing it in, then you tell it what the upper level part number would be. And then you can choose to add the part numbers to the system or not. I'm going to go ahead now and upload that bill of materials. Now you'll be able to see that if I come into that upper level part number, in the materials section, everything has been brought in. If it's an indented bill of materials, when you look at the tree view, you'll see the indentures that it would have created for the subassemblies and all of the materials underneath of those, respectively. I can, of course, expand this so that I can see all of my full bill of materials listed in Job Boss Squared, and it was extremely easy and quick to create. You can also, of course, print the bill of materials out on a bill of material report. And this will give you the information, of course, when you create an order for these items to go into purchasing or come from inventory or be made depending upon what type of item they are on the bill of materials.